Marcus from Prime Fighter here with Alberto Kume. I said that right? Yeah, you got that. You yeah, got that. I got that right, man. Oh, okay, how you doing, bro? I'm and foremost. How's things? Um, it's all good. Um, you know, final day, so fight night. So just tuning in, relaxing, and then getting myself ready. Yeah, yeah man. So how, how's camp been for you so far? How, how, how have you prepared? Um, camp has been great, man. Um, obviously it's tiring and it takes it takes its toll. But then I'm, 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 I'm at the final end of it now. And then I can't complain of how things have been. And I'm just looking forward yeah, to it. You, you look happy, man, because usually on fight week, everyone's trying to make weight and they look drained. I think, and I don't then... know, I'm just playing a psychological trick on myself. <laughs> so I distract myself from Yeah, because back in my day when I was younger, not, not so much, not now, obviously. Yeah, I can't man. do it now, but when I fought, when I fought as an amateur, okay. I was like, I saved their way and it's horrible, man. Like, yeah, so that's how fight, when fighters on fight week, yeah, when you see when fight week, it's drained, isn't it? So, yeah, man. So, um, do you know much about your opponent for the unsighted day? Um, I know he's had like 20 odd fights and he's been in with these um, couple of experienced amateurs and he was able to turn over to pros, top prospects, and he's very durable. He's never been hurt, he's never been. He's always gone the distance, really, so he must be tough and durable. So that's all I know about him. So I'm just looking to go in there and then just not be too eager and anxious. Go in there, display my skills, and then get the job done. Yeah, see so in the press conference you was um you've you got your Ghanaian. Yeah, I'm Ghanaian. Yeah. So um, what, what, so how long have you been in Manchester? Well, I've been in Manchester for about twelve years now. You've got strong, yeah. I got a strong man keen accent. Yeah, man. I know. Like I said, like I said, um, on that interview then. I adapt, man, and that's in my nature. So anywhere you put me, I just adapt and I become the best of it. So yeah, I was originally born in Ghana. I used to live there. I'm, I'm from Jamestown, and then uh, I happened to fall in love with the sport of boxing. So, so you know about Shatterwale, then, yeah? My then. You know about Shatterwale? Shatterwale, of course, man. The yeah, musician, man. great artist. It's <laughs> yeah. my guy, though. My guy, though. I like his music, though. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. So um, I got a few people from Ghana. So we got a few. We got a few. You got a few good boxers from Ghana. You got like. Got a few Ghanaian uh, just, making noise. Got, yeah. uh, just Joshua Wattsy, Wattsy yeah, yeah. Um, and his cousin uh, Isaac Dagbo. Isaac Dagbo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Isaac Isaac Dagbo. Dagbo. And then there was um, what's the one in America, um, Richard Comey. Richard Comey. Oh, he's from yeah, Ghana. Yeah, he was yeah, from Ghana. So, yeah, he was boxing in London and moved over to America. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 I, I thought he was like an American guy. Obviously, but like his parents are like Ghana. I didn't know he was actually from Ghana himself. Ghana, so. Okay, yeah, it's quite okay. A lot of us making noise slowly, surely. Yeah, there's a few, man. There's yeah, a few, it's it's man. Like, yeah, man, because yeah, obviously, like. I'm going to trace back my ancestry. I'm from, like, my. Obviously, my parents from Jamaica, but, like, okay. via Ghana. Via Ghana, that's yeah. lovely. Yeah, man, so, you know, we're brothers, isn't it? Yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. so, um. So why are you looking to why are you looking to achieve? Obviously you see you got like had a few injured stuff here. So what what where are you looking to achieve this year in 2023? I've achieved um, this year I'm looking to gain back momentum. I am having at least four more fights after this and then after that I'm looking to go to the central area route and then I can't I can't be wasting any more time when I've got a catch up to do and I order to myself, prove myself wrong and then you know just make myself achieve more things and then like I said, grab the Air Central Air title and then see where we go from there. Yeah man, so um, obviously it's, uh, in the first conference I had like you sparred with um, Jack Catchwell. Yeah, uh, yeah, how, yeah. how was that? How was that? What, what were you like? You didn't, you, you didn't say much in the conference but go a bit, a little bit deeper. How was that, how was that for you? Like, yeah, for me it was a lot of challenge and I'm one of them I love to prove, um, challenge myself every time. Like Back then I was an amateur and I was sparring him and then I think he was about, he was a British champion back there so obviously the experience is quite different. But, I just love soaking up all that experience and information and um, you couldn't switch off in sparring man, like you had to be on the best game every time. So I loved all the hardships of it and then I mean I kept that good relationship with him and it's just brilliant because not many people were to spar him back then. Even now people are struggling to fight him and then he upset the apple cart when he went in there with Josh Taylor. A lot of people were doubting him and I kept saying to them, man, this is this kid is he's that he's that, he's that dark horse in that in that weight class man. And he showed it. Yeah, he showed so, it man, definitely. I mean I I love the experience that I got to share with him and then I still add little bits of his game plan to my game plan and then it works so I appreciate it man. Yeah but and where can people get to follow you on like on socials or whatever? On social media man, all my social media platform names are alberto.k or you can just search me up by my name Alberto Kumi and I'm easy to find.
Yeah, I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, um, Twitter. The whole Matthew, shebang. Matthew, Matthew. <laughs> yeah, Matthew, yeah, man. That, that's good, man. man. Um, any, any last words for, for Saturday night? Um, tune in and um, expect excitement, man. Um, everybody who's bought tickets, I, I appreciate the love. Come down um, to Bowlers Trafford Park, that's my local area in Manchester. And then I'm, look, I'm, I'm happy to be back out and then performing. Yeah, man. Well, I appreciate your time, man. Okay. Appreciate your time. We'll see you on Saturday, man. Have a good, okay, good thank luck. You, man. Thank you.